So we'll talk a little bit about centering and maybe the how the wheel could be set up or how the way I set up my wheel. So let's start with the stool. I've got a stool that has adjustable legs. So the back legs are adjusted a little bit higher than the front legs. And the legs are adjusted so that when I'm sitting on it, my leg is pretty much parallel to the ground. The reason I have it tilted is to push my hips forward so that I take some of the strain off my back. Some people push that a lot more forward where they're like this, and that works too, um, depending on you know what kind of back issues you have. Um, I know a lot of people have stools with wheels and like rolly stools, and that wouldn't work for the way I center. Part of how I press is by using my body weight, and if my body weight would happen to roll away from the clay, I wouldn't be putting as much pressure on. My pedal is right underneath the corner of my wheel, so that my, when I'm sitting down, my knee is at like a 45 degree angle. On the other side, I do not have anything. Some people put a block of wood here as a footrest, but just the way I work, it seems I don't have an issue with, with getting like lopsided fatigue. So this is my, I get as close to the wheel as I can. I have my pedal so that my knee is at a 45 degree angle and I can rotate my foot without having to go too far that way or come back too far. My leg is pretty much flat in that my leg is above my splash guard. Um, this splash guard sets a little bit high and the wheel head a little bit low. So I do have an issue sometimes with getting down against the wheel head the way I like, but I don't want to cut my splash pan up. On the other side, um, again, I can put my elbow on my leg. And I want to use a posture so that I'm applying pressure with my body and not with my arms. I don't want to use strength when I center because I get tired and I don't want to put that kind of stress on my body. So when I put pressure on the clay, I've got my shoulder and my arm pressed up against my body. I press the corner or my elbow here into my hip and I lean forward. If you see that when I lean forward, my arm moves forward. That's what's applying the pressure to the clay. There's no arm muscle, there's no abdominal muscles doing the pushing. It's just the, the weight of my chest, the weight of my upper body pushing towards the center of the clay. Um, larger pieces of clay, it's even more important. I can get away without you know, using much force on a small piece of clay, but having, having the anchor to push forward is really important. So, as, as some of the people are already aware, I don't wedge. I just cut the ball of clay off the block and pat it into a ball. Then on the center of the clay, I mean, if people have trouble getting it in the middle, you can anchor your elbow and then put it in the middle, lift it up, and drop it. And I hit it twice. Was that three times? I only hit it twice. So now it's in the middle, or you know, stuck to the wheel head at least. Let's see if I can change the camera angle here. So to center, I get it wet, and I want to press it down against the wheel head. So I'm taking my hands at like a V shape, and I'm just pressing down. I want to get this stuck to the wheel. My fingers on the outside edges are pressing down so that I form a skirt. So now I have a skirt formed. And now I want to cone up. So to cone up, I'm lining up the center of the clay, the middle of my wrist, and my elbow. Hopefully people can see that in here. Yeah, you should be able to see that. So the middle of my wrist, my, the center of the clay, and my elbow are all lined up in a straight line. So when I apply pressure, it's going straight through and not using any of my hand. A hand is a weak joint in terms of all the connections and possibilities for it to move. When I apply pressure, I want to use the end of my arm. I don't want to use any parts of my hand or my fingers. On the other side, same kind of deal. I've got my, my arm tucked into my shoulder or into my side here. I'm going to try to squeeze towards me and together so that they're working opposite each other. It's hard to center when both hands are together and you're just pushing forward. It can be done, but it's a lot more work. So I'm going to have them opposing each other. I'm going to press down and squeeze together. As I squeeze together, the clay comes out of the top of my hands. And then I'm going to 
press it back down. Pressing back down is what's actually doing the centering. So I've got the center of the clay, middle of my wrist, and my elbow lined up. I'm pressing down against the wheel head. I'm going to take this part, the meaty part of my thumb here, wrap it over, and press down into it. Now I'm leaning forward with my body so that the clay has no place to go but in the middle. I'm not wrestling it. If your hands are moving like this, you've got an issue that you're not anchored somewhere. Now this is when I talk about the stool having wheels isn't good because when I'm pressing against here, I mean I can press so hard that it would move my stool with a larger piece of clay. Because I'm not actually using muscle, I'm just using my body weight. Now, some people get volcanoes. We'll talk about that. So volcanoes are when you, when you probably push down too far. And when you press down too far, when you push up, see how the center of the clay stays still and the outside goes up? Now you got a volcano. And volcanoes have lava and lava is hot and hot stuff burns and we don't want volcanoes. So to get rid of the volcano, you can press down on just the outside edge and it presses it down. But to prevent them, the best thing is to not come down as far to keep your hands at an angle like this so that as you squeeze together it's squirting out the top of your hands and it's not like this and then just pushing it up and having your thumb over the top that's going to apply pressure all the way along the clay to prevent volcanoes ah see no volcano so to cone down again wet it arm against the wheel head and press down into the clay and let go slowly it's important that you let go slowly. Some people, they get all excited, they go, I got it centered, I got it centered, and they let go fast. Oh, now it's not centered anymore. If you let go slowly, the clay has time to like equally let go of the pressure. So it stays in the middle. Centering, yay!